This program is supported by The Innertown Record, your weekly hometown community newspaper covering the Kearsarge, Sunapee, Sunshine region of New Hampshire. The Innertown Record. Welcome back to your Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel. Old home days are such a staple of every community this time of year, and everyone is invited. Next up is Sutton's. Let's hear about it from Kathy Lowe and her gang. Hi, Kathy. Well, we grew up in this incredible village, and because we had parents who were in vaudeville, and our uncle, who was a tremendous songwriter and performer, he wrote this, that beautiful song, yeah, New Hampshire Sunday Morn. Probably, I'm guessing, in the late 50s, because as far as I'm concerned, we've been singing this song all our life, <laughs> and it's, it's become an icon. I mean, people just love, they love the song, and I think it's one of the reasons they even come to Old Home Day. So when Tom passed in 1985, sadly, from lung cancer, uh, he passed the song on to our sister Kim to sing, which she does so beautifully. Kids all dressed in Sunday best, watching church bells toll. Faces big and like I've seen them, coming from the swimming hole. And it's great, we get a lot of um, uh, community town people to sing in the background, the bong, bong, bong. Right. And Kim's husband, George, directs us, um, as, as our father used to direct the choir when um, mm -hmm. Uncle Tom sang. Yep. The date and day and time of our old home day is going to be Sunday, August 21st at 11 o'clock. Um, I just wanted to uh, have a memory when uh, Jody Wells' grandma Gaga would open up her house and we would all borrow outfits like, like this and sign them out. And she, I mean, we're talking, you know, 65, 70 years ago now or something. And um, she just lent all these incredible outfits to people in the village so people could come dressed up. From young babies to grandmother, grandfathers. The first photo uh, is my aunt and uncle, and they are uh, dressed in uh, old garb, and they are getting ready uh, for old home day. This other one, the two people there are my grandmother and grandfather. And then there's a photo of me and my mother uh, dressed for Old Home Day. And this last uh, photo is a, a photograph of my father, who is a tithing man, and uh, the low sister's uncle Tom, who is holding out for the collection. And so they did that for a number of years and it was always uh, entertaining because someone would put in a wooden nickel or someone would pretend they were asleep. So they would tickle the ladies with the feather and hit, hit the guys with the post on the other side of the uh, tithing stick. We'll keep coming, right girls? Oh, we'll keep coming. <laughs> hey, I, I think I see the ice cream truck. Let's go. Ooh, all right. Let's go. Let's do it. On that day will also be an ice cream social and also open will be the not only the uh, one room schoolhouse for your review, but also the the Wells the, the, the Wells store, which has a number of artifacts of of the both the eighteenth and nineteenth century. The date and day and time of our old home day is going to be Sunday, August 21st at 11 o'clock. And we both, we, we eagerly and humbly um, hope that you can attend. I think it's both worthwhile and fun. Thanks, Kathy. Mark your calendar for another great community celebration. When your Yankee Chronicle returns, I'll visit with Sage Tokash, the new education director at the New London Barn Playhouse, on why it is your artistic home and now a resource for learning throughout the year. But first, a few words from the folks that underwrite our show. Please stay with us. <laughs> 